Hey friends, it's me, Aggie, again. <laughs> I am going to be preparing this big, huge canvas that you see behind me. Uh, this is the beginning of Flower Shower. It's a brand new class starting on Tuesday, but I wanna prepare my canvas ahead of time. And if you're gonna be using a really large canvas like me, this one is 24 by 48. Um, then you might want to do what I'm going to show you in this video. So um, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I am going to reinforce the back of the canvas with some foam core. So I have to size it and fit it in there. And that might take a little bit of finagling and I'll be trimming it and whatnot. So you're going to be seeing me kind of from a distance. I do have my camera set up right here. Um, so I'll try to do my best and I'll be able to see what's happening on this uh, my iMac monitor. So if you have questions, just throw them out there. I'll come over and glance every once in a while. So uh, I always do that when I use Canvas. You do what? Who's that? Hello, hello. Oh, you put the foam core in there? Yeah, that's such a good idea because we do a lot of glass and resin art in my membership and in my classes. So I haven't even opened up this Canvas yet. I have this Canvas. Um, can you hear me okay? I mean, this canvas is, I don't even know how old. Look how big. <laughs> but um, fortunately, the way the backer is on here, I think it won't be too hard to get foam core in there. And I'm using just foam core from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to cut this open and put all of this in there. And I'm going to gesso it too. So we'll see how long I go. I don't want to keep you too long, but this will be um, included in the classroom, which is going to be held in a private Facebook group. So um, we're calling it Flower Shower because that's what it is. It's a shower of flowers just in time for spring. But I honestly think it will be the kind of um, painting that you can probably have up all year round. Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, it's a pain. I don't know why everybody that had given permission earlier seems to have gone away. Okay, so these are just Dollar Tree sheets of foam core that I'm going to be using. I'll just come over to this camera. Um, and it won't fit this way, unfortunately. It's just a little bit short, so I have to turn it this way but I'm gonna kind of get a feel for how deep in it goes. And however much it is on that side, it will also be the same on the other. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a little tick mark. Not a tick mark, a long mark. So that is how much I was able to get it to go in. And I'm gonna measure, let's see. I'm gonna measure from the end of this piece of wood to this piece of wood and then add this measurement in and that should be what works for me. It probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> but if you think about it, it does make sense. Okay, so from here to here, is exactly 21 inches. So let me mark that on here, 21 inches. And then this amount that it was able to tuck under was almost an inch and an eighth. That's interesting, huh? A little bit under an inch and an eighth. Okay, so of course, um, I have to make sure I do this square. So let's see. Let's see what this measurement is total. And who knows, you might have the same canvas, although they might be different. So it's 23 and 3 sixteenths, I think. And 
I'm going to measure that on this end so that it will be hopefully kind of square. It's like the boring behind the scenes stuff that you have to do sometimes. 23 and 3 sixteenths. And I'm going to connect these and that'll be where I cut. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. So I just have a, an extra board under here. I'm going to get that in there. I have to fold it, don't I? Somebody just messaged me, I think. Um, account for pushing on both sides. Okay. Um, Let's see. Yes, I can see you, Jane. Thanks for doing that. Hey, Joanne, do you think we could do this on a 12 by 24? Yes, I created a 12 by 24 tracer, Kathy. Times two. Account for pushing on both sides. Okay, will do. All right, so the only way for me to get it in there is I have to, I have to fold it, right? Oh. Wow, okay. Let me put a little uh, crease here. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm gonna kind of emboss emboss it. <laughs> okay. So now it's got a just a bit of a bend in it, right? So that I can kind of I have to kind of get it in here. I don't know how else to do it, you know. Oh, it's tight. Oh, but it worked. And now I need to slide it down. It might be too tight. Oh, it's too tight. <laughs> I can't push it down, Jane. Wow. Any tips for, for pushing it down? See, I've got these cross frames in the way. I think I need to take a little bit off. Let me see what Jane says. Can't you just cut off the edge that's hanging over? I don't even know what you mean by that, but... Put off the edge that's hanging over. Sorry, I, I'm not following. Yeah, I mean, I've got it really, really tight there. I'm going to take um, I'm gonna take off an eighth of an inch and see what that does. Yeah, so part of what I do with my class is not everybody necessarily wants to do it this big. So I do offer several different sizes of tracers. Maybe not several, but I offer options. Let's see if this will fit in there now. Yep. Yeah. Yay. And then you want it to go all the way up to the top. Good, I think that's perfect. Yes, 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 that feels really good. Okay, so now I need another piece below that. Um, 
see the comments again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did exactly what you were talking about. You're trying to push that piece in there. Why not just, yeah, okay. All right. All right, so um, same thing. We're going to do the same, same thing here. Basically, I want to cut off this plus this, right? <clears throat> Add the eighth of an inch there. And um, this is going to really help strengthen that canvas for uh, if I do decide to put a decent amount of glass on this piece, you know, glass can be pretty heavy. Even the resin, um, just the resin alone, if you go look at Art Resin's website, they, they did a video not too, too long ago about... Um, how the center of the canvas kind of kind of caves in. <laughs> Doesn't cave, that's not the word they use, but it kind of goes in. They used colored resin and you could actually see how the canvas dips in, uh, you know, just from resin alone. So, you know, it's just not as rigid as uh, a wooden substrate. And the whole reason why I'm doing it on this canvas is because I have all these large canvases that I really would like to use. Um, so, cut this piece and slide it in there. And then, um, do you, are you a gesso user? <laughs> Write in the comments if you are, and what's your favorite gesso? Um, I really like, I don't mind, um, Liquitex gesso, that's what I've got here. That's what I'm going to be using. I think it's, oh, I need to do the bevel in the middle. I like it. Um, I really like the convenience of the bottle. It's like a squirt bottle. You just squirt out however much you need and um, you know, spread it on there. Okay, so I put a little fold in there. This might be a little bit hard to do with that one in the way, huh? Well, how am I going to do that? It's a little bit challenging when you got these, this frame in the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, I don't know if it's going to budge. Oh, there it goes. And, I mean, I, I'm just going to probably leave these in here, too. They're from Dollar Tree, so. Oh, and I wonder, wouldn't it be nice if this piece fit right in there? Oh, just about. You probably could get away with putting that in there. Hold on, I keep getting messages. Oh. Um. My husband's messaging me. He's asking me. He's going to get me something and he wanted to know. <laughs> I want to know what size he should get me. Okay. I'm a gesso user. <laughs> Let's see. Wait. Do you leave this foam board in? Yeah, I'm going to leave it in, Kathy. Yes. I mean, you could take it out, but it's probably going to be a pain in the butt with the way this frame is. Someone says they are a gesso gal. Yes. Jane says she uses it sometimes. Oh, why is not letting me show? And you like the Liquitex. And then here we've got someone else saying they're a gesso user. I don't have a favorite. I have some Liquitex gesso now because I got it on clearance. Yes. <laughs> uh, put your dinner order in, Aggie. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So look at here. I mean, 
What do you think? If you can get away with this piece, or should I? I probably could. I don't know. It's a little bit off. Jane, what would you do in this situation? It's probably okay. Um, and I'm just going to cut another piece. Just kind of seam them together. May as well. Where's my knife? Go? I'm losing my knife. Okay, so hang with me. I'm going to gesso it too. And I'm going to show you my big old tracer. <laughs> I mean, this, this painting is almost the size of the, of the darn window. It's so funny. Okay, which two pieces? Is it? Did, I do, did I cut the wrong thing? I think I cut the wrong thing. <laughs> I can't talk and cut at the same time. And I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> no, that doesn't look right. Oh, now it's right. I don't know how I had it wrong. Here we go. We got it. Oh, yes. Like a glove. Who knows what that movie is from? What movie does that? Like a glove. <laughs> okay, so we've got this all in there. Let me hold it up so you can see it. It just makes the front of the canvas so much more rigid and nice. Um, so Jane, since you do this all the time, is this something that you would tape? Or should I just leave that? Um, you know, once you resin it, it will be very nice and rigid. You could technically take all of those out of there. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And I like saving this, believe it or not. Never know what you might use that for. Toss that over there. So now I'm going to grab my gesso, and I'm going to use a big... Um, uh, what do you call one of these brushes my brain why is my brain weird today one of these brushes I'm going to use you know what are these called again what's wrong with my brain let's turn this camera off I usually take mine out but this one being so large and might leave it in I tape if I was leaving it in okay I will tape that later um that's Wilson. You can't see me. No, I can't see your name. Uh, chip brush. Yes, thank you. Chip brush. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just so this because now the reason why I like the, the texture, the lines that I'm going to get from this, and it actually, it, it really helps me with my painting later on if I use glazes or washes. It creates valley peaks and valleys for the pigment to settle into, and it just creates another little nuance to the painting. Uh, so it's like a it's like a, a nice easy trick that you can do. Um, I just like what it does, so I'm just going to squirt this on. And have I have discovered that if I'm not careful, I can really fling. <laughs> it's real easy to fling gesso. Have you noticed? So I do it mostly for the texture that you get. That is what I love about it. So I'm just going to do, I'm not applying it too, too thickly, but I'm just thinking about distribution at first to get it, you know, all the way to the corners, all the way to the tippy corners. And I'm just doing lines in different directions. Nice, big strokes. And of course, inevitably, a couple of hairs come out. <laughs> there we see a couple. So I'm going to grab a toothpick or something, get them out of there. So uh, yeah, I, that was my husband messaging me. He's at work. He works at Costco. He's going to grab me. A, um, I discovered, I'm like, why are you never cold? Why am I always the one that's freezing? He's like, well, aren't you wearing a second pair of pants? I'm like, no. 
And that's the trick. And you'd think that I would have known that after all, the, all these years, but no, I didn't know it. I should have put these gloves on. So um, I do have a couple of pairs that he bought me years ago, but I need some more. So they're just like um, what you would wear if you were running, like those nylon. I think they're by, they're called Paradox. They're really, they're really nice, the, the Costco ones. So he's getting me some of those. Because <laughs> I'm tired of being cold. I, I just am. I'm really tired of it. I'm kind of cut off on the frame, aren't I? That's okay. Um, all right, I can't get that out of there, so I'm gonna. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm in southern Wisconsin. It, you know what was it? Nine degrees yesterday. Ugh. I need to plan another trip to Florida. Who wants to go with me? I would love to do the like uh, last year. I went with my friend Laura York, and we went to. Um, JMS Art Studio, and then we went to, um, well, I don't know which one we did first, I don't remember now, Mary Hong, we had a, a class at Mary Hong Studio, and it was, it was really a nice trip. I want to go down and do both of them again. <laughs> if you haven't done it, I highly recommend So um, I haven't decided uh, even on my color scheme on this yet. I think I'm going to start thinking about that, kind of planning that out. I kind of think I know what I want to do, but um, just need to think about it a little bit more. Uh, it is a good idea to kind of pre-plan what you're going to do on a painting before you actually even start painting. Do you guys do that at all? I just created this worksheet, things that you could be asking yourself, thinking about before you actually even start a painting. Um, you know, and I think it is going to be very, very helpful for all of the members. So that's what I'm going to be working on um, this weekend. Um, who knows, I might even go ahead and film the next step. Um, we'll see. So I might do a second coat. Um, this isn't a real thick resin. There are, th uh, resin, sorry. This isn't a real thick gesso. There are thicker ones, but this is such a large canvas, I didn't want to... I didn't want, I'm being a little cheap. I didn't want to use my really expensive thick gesso on this because it's so dang big, you know? Um, I'm not going to do the sides. I just don't really think that's necessary. I do bring it around the corners just a little bit to give those corners a little bit more sturdiness, I guess, for lack of a better word. Get this little hair out of here. And um, trying not to go over the edge because I uh, keep getting more hairs. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, I took it off and then put it right back on again. Isn't that funny? So what you could do is put just a little bit more on here or just a bit more um, texture. And really, where, where, we are, where we would see it would be on the outside edges. So that's where I should try to concentrate it, I guess. So then with this, I could do like bigger, bigger strokes. And believe it or not, this does show in your painting. And I just think it's so cool when it does. So if you haven't done that, I hope you'll try it in your next painting. I keep finding more and more of these. That's the only bad thing about chip brushes, right? 
Oh, this looks really cool, you guys. I wish you could see it. All right, so that's it. I am prepped and ready to go. Um, I'm going to go grab my tracer and show you. I'm so proud of this big old tracer. Hold on. Let me go grab it. Put that in the water. Let me show you this big tracer. One sec. One sec. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look how big this is. That is, it's bigger than life, right? That is a big old umbrella. And it's called Flower Shower. Isn't that a great name? So anyway, you will be seeing this one soon, my friends. Um, that is all I got for now. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, wait, let me check comments, see if you guys have anything else. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Um, 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 um. I like it because it fills in little holes and makes painting easier. It really does. It gives such a nice, velvety, smooth surface. Um, do you ever use? I actually do use White House paint. Yes. Interior flat. Or ceiling white. Um, I'm always cold, but that's because of my thyroid issue. Oh, sorry, Wilson. Yes, I'm going through that now. I need to look at the worksheet to see it, how it will help me with this. Great. I think I want aqua umbrella, pink, yellow, purple flowers. Ooh, it sounds so springy and pretty. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. See you next time. Bye.